Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my video and today I want to do a video about uh, how to identify defective Desert Eagle Magnum uh, Research 50 caliber uh, magazines. Um, as you see you're looking at a perfect Desert Eagle with perfect working magazines. Gun shoots perfect. This gun is I went through a lot of work to get a, machine, a gun that is like this. And I'm going to show you um, how to tell if a magazine is bad when you buy the gun. So when you buy a gun, this is what you should do at the dealer. Okay, so let's say you have this uh, gun inside the case. And let's just say it has that mag in there, okay? And Because uh, I, I know this one's bad. So you get it, and the guy says, oh, the gun is great. You grab it. You, you know, First of all, what you should do is look at the finish. This has just got fingerprints. Look at every bit for pits. Look for crooked sights. Look for you know, every going at angle. Uh, the gun should be uniform, there should be no dark marks on it, there should be no scratches, look everywhere. Uh, look at uh, the hammer, make sure there's no tool and die marks on it. You know, look the gun over really, really, really good. It won't be like this, because this gun here, I had this done, you know, I had this uh, sanded down and plated like that. So you, you will have black ones and you might not have the muzzle break. You know, but just look at the whole gun overall. Then what you want to do, is with the magazine in, you want to rack the slide back. And this is before you buy it. You want to drop the magazine. It should free fall like that. But then you want to take the magazine again and you want to put it in the gun and you want to jam it in. And I mean I mean give it a good smack. Uh, let me just pull this camera back here a little. I mean I want you to take that and take that and go hard like in that. Okay. Now, do you see something here? I'm gonna notice. See that how flush that is? Now when you put the slide down, what happens is See, the slide is down, it won't go. What's going to happen, that lip is going to head in there. So you know, right away you got a problem. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to, with the slide still on, you're going to want to take your finger, and you're going to want to push right in here. And you will see, <clears throat> it might be pain in the ass to get it out, but you're going to see, see how that popped out? That's no good. Now the slide will, it will come out. There's a problem with the magazine, in, uh, internally, something with the spring, something with the design, something with the... I never could figure out why. But anyway, you're going to take it back in again. You're going to jam it in. See how flat that goes? That's not supposed to happen, guys. See, you're going to have to... And sometimes you may not be able to get the magazine out. Okay? You're going to tell them that's a wrong magazine. We're probably not going to want to buy that gun. Now, it's just a magazine issue because I'll show you. Now, these are magazines that are good. These are magazines that were black that I had chrome-plated. But they're good because I tested them when they were black when I bought the gun. Now here's a magazine. See this? It's the same thing. It's just plated. If I take this on and I take it, see how hard I hit that? Still comes out. Okay, so I'm going to, I wham, so I'm banging the damn thing in. Now watch again. Comes out still. Okay, that's one magazine. I got another one here. Put it in. Banging it comes out. Take this black one, okay, put it in, don't come out. You got to actually push on in here to get it to come loose. Problem magazine, bingo. Defective, piece of garbage, throw it away, call Magnum Research, bitch the shit out of them, say you saw this video. That took me a long time to figure this out. They have bad Magnum Research mags. I don't know why. Um, and I looked at some of these, I have no idea why they're like this. But I wanted to show you that, that they have some bad ones, and they are crap. So, you know, you're going to want to definitely do that if you buy a gun, um, with the Desert Eagle. Um, and a lot of guns have these problems, you know, Magnum Research is not the only one, but like I say, I mean, just because it's black means nothing, you know what I mean? Uh, I'd had chrome ones, whatever color you're doing that. It's defective somewhere in, inside there, somewhere internally, not worth trying to find out. Send it back, or tell the guy you want a new magazine. Or, you know, if you had a new one in the shop, a 50A magazine, take it and try it, and I bet you it'll work. So, um, that is the problem with the gun. Uh, actually, it's the problem with the magazine, not a problem with the gun. So you should be able to jam that in and slide it. But I hope this is helping you, and I don't think you'll find any information about this 
and uh, I would imagine this will affect every Desert Eagle. Uh, you don't have the problem all the time, but when you guy buy the gun in the store, you got to try that. If you try that, uh, when you get the gun in the order, even that means it's got to be a magazine. You and sometimes it could be a gun issue, but if you have a good magazine and try that, that works you, and that'll cause you to have failure to feed, slides locking back, all kind of problems because that magazine is not seating correctly in there. I just wanted to show you that, and you have a nice day, and I hope you enjoyed the video.